That's nuts, isn't it? Look at Shadow. Oh. Hello? Watch Torch off, watch. Bosh. Peach Black Cat. Ah, no. Hello, welcome to another video. I'm out in the Yorkshire Dales. As a Yorkshireman, it's hard for me not to just love these rolling hills, even though they are very much dictated by agriculture in their fauna and flora. <laughs> that sounds good, it sounds like I wrote that, didn't it? I didn't, freestyled it, good. I've just come from a meander, a bimble, a trek, a walk, a hike, a yomp, through these rolling barren wastelands and I don't know where I'm going and I don't know where I'll end up. What I know is I want to camp up top somewhere where I've got a nice view, I've got a couple of things to test out kit wise and, um, and in the morning I'm definitely going to be looking to do some wild swimming. sort of skullduggery and witchcraft do we have here? Got one gate purely on gravity and then this lad but also this just a stone would do but I don't know many sheep that could get through there but your wish is my command, farmer. At this point, I'm just trying to hold my stomach in and ignore the camera. That's fact. Fact. <coughs> the weight of that. The weight of the rock pulls the chain and closes the gate. Salute. I salute you. Butcher. Sharp. Trick Bateman, Trick Stewart. Oh yeah, classic. Just a classic. Classic with a view though, look. Oh. Right, let's break the fourth wall. This is a treat for all you lot. Is that even recording? This is a treat, this like. What's, what's that doing, do you think? Right, this is a treat. Treat for you lot, look. The fourth wall, isn't it? It's only because I like you, I'm letting you see this. This is a live, behind the scenes, latch and locks. So now you know the, the, the work, the effort, the planning. Uh, I've got a team of people all around the north of England. Um, they've scouted this place for me. I've sent them out here, uh, put them up in a hotel. They came out, checked this gear out, sent me the results, and I okayed it. I've been airlifted in, the chopper's just up there, and we're gonna, we're gonna record this latch and lock. So, uh, yeah, if you stay there, stay out the way, because I don't want you spoiling the, uh, the overall feeling of solitude that I'm trying to capture, yeah? All right. Don't, don't make me laugh. So I hope you make me laugh, this is serious. Serious. Here we go, look at this. Bog standard latch and lock textbook, some might say. But how can it be textbook when you've got views like that? Look, there it is. There's the money shop. Decent action on it as well. <laughs> ah, see you later. Yeah, do we get it? Got it. So, if you want to see this live, or how it was from the other side, follow this here. Some people say, are you joking? And to them I say, no mate, why would I? 
It's real, it's latch and locks, right? Come on. I do love Osprey packs. One thing does my nut in a little bit with them is with the anti-gravity system at the back, they can squeak a bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, you heard that? It's like floorboards, but it's having like squeaky floorboards attached to your back. Which is fine when you're doing just day hikes and that, but when I've done long distance hikes with my Osprey, my other Osprey, 48 litre, I had to really jig around with it to get rid of it because it started to drive me mad. Like actually mad. It's one thing when you're on like a, a 10 mile hike or whatever I'm on today. It's another thing day in, day out. <laughs> Start hearing it in your sleep and that. Thinking someone's creeping upstairs to get you. That squeaky thing is one of the only things that's wrong with it. Like the anti-gravity system on the back is unreal. It just keeps the whole thing off your back just a layer of mesh that circulates the air anyway. And on days like today when you, you know, you're hiking up hills and the sun's out, anything else would just be a proper barren wet back. Echoes of gates past. I love how smooth and patinaed the metal goes. This little ridge here, was my false summit. <laughs> there's the real, there's the real deal. And I'm glad. Yorkshire frogs, look. They're having sex. Oh, there's a couple down there. It's that time of year, isn't it? But the sun's out, everyone's just, everyone's at it. I just stopped at a bit of water there. Just moved it about a bit and it just stunk. <laughs> Pretty stagnant. Riddled with frogs and riddled with frog spawn. <laughs> Look at that. See it, frog spawn. That's all. Look at that. There's a grouse on a wall, mate. Oh. See you later. Come from around that corner in the valley up onto this ridge round up here, it's steeper than it looks there. <laughs> and then up to there. I don't know if that's the summit or whether it keeps going. Let's have a look. You've all seen 14 peaks on Netflix, haven't you? Well, there's one down. <laughs> nah, sadly, uh, sadly ever Esther out, but. Nice feeling. Still a nice feeling, mate. Some lovely views. It's not quite clear, but it's there's like a there's a haze in the air, shall I say? It's quite a big plateau actually up here, so I'll have a little wander around, figure out where the sun's gonna set and sun's gonna rise and where my best pitch uh, where my best place to pitch will be. Come on. Let's go and have a look at Ryu and Cairn. Big old bits of York stone. Love it. Some on a pallet. There you go, mate. There you be. We're calling it home. Home sweet home kiddo. The big Agnes. B.A. B.A. Baracus. B.A. Big Agnes. Yeah, that's good. And now, more fool me. Keep it betwixt the thighs. Because you don't want a 70 quid tent with no string. I mean, a 70 quid kite with no string on it. 70 quid. You've done me there. You've done me. You've done me, Big Agnes. You've done me. Fair cop. Unless it's mint. Unless it's mint. Which, how can it be? How can it be 70 quid worth of mint? Right, let's get flat cap on, mate. Proper get, I lost, I lost me of a flat cap a while ago. I thought, as a Yorkshire man, 
I'm going to treat myself to a proper unit. So I did. City Sports, mate. It's a Harris Tweed herringbone pattern. <laughs> Shall I see how much of a how much of a tit I look? I mean, how much of a, a Yorkshireman? Look at that. How do? Now then, but where's Dufre? Bye, Ekmat. Bye, Ekmat. How's do? How's doing? How's twife like? Huh? Well, anyway, let's get into this. Come on. Stop pratting about. So, we'll get me Poli Polish friends out. All colour coordinated. Which is what we like, isn't it? The truth is, mate, the truth of the matter is, I want it to look good on photos. I, if I was, if you were here, I would have the small end facing off this so that any wind would hit the small end and go over the top of it. But because I want to get some good photos, it looks better side on with the door open that way. And it's not forecast to be too windy, so that's what I'm going to do. FYI. R right. Let's get her plugged into the mainframe first so that she's not going to go dancing off. Dancing off to the tune of 70 bones. Whistling as she blows away into fucking <laughs> dales. Never to be seen again. Am I going to be good there? Yes. Am I? I mean, that's it, mate. That's me sorry, isn't it? See you at morning. If there's something magic or tragic happens, I'll see you later. Uh, real talk, I probably won't even need an airbed. That is so comfy. Right, this is it. Are you still watching? I'd forgive you if you've left. What with all Ella fresh stuff and now this, it's just. What's it like? Hey, oh. T bar. <sighs> right then, let's see what she's all about. There she is, like a git starfish. Lakes, lakes to git starfish. Lakes to git starfish, mate. Right, let's see how, let's see if this is as easy, because if it isn't easy, you can keep it. This is nice and calm. You have to, ima right, that's annoying already, straight off the bat. But you have to imagine it's pissing it down. And you wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't. And windy, you know? I've been hiking all day, I'm tired. You know, me, me, me bollocks chafing. Oh, hey, that's quite good, isn't it? That's quite good as it is. Out of first, then. You know what? I feel like this is going to be a chew. One. I feel I'm just one gust of wind away from a tragedy, though. There it is, there's tragedy look. There's tra right, head's gone, head's gone. Now, a lot of this probably is human error. That human is me. You've got a lot of space. And you could just have it like this and have it as a super light tent. You're gonna get gnarled by bugs and stuff, but it's there for you, isn't it, as an option. Took a bit to get there, but I like that. And now I would chuck everything in there, my bag. Everything would go in there if it was raining. And apparently you can just set it up from, you can set it up from inside. So let's do that. So my arse would be getting wet, wouldn't it? <laughs> Tell you something, right, that's done. I got it out a bit better. Or I'll guy it out full stop. I tell you what, I love these doors, the way that they've got that little loop there to put in. Love that. I love that for you, door. And <laughs> and I love it, actually love it. It duck like, okay, so that was a bit of a pain in the bollock, but once it's up, man, it's it just it's one of them that feels it just feels good. Feels like good quality. 
and I really do, I'm liking it, I'm liking being inside this tent, it's really good. <sighs> right, let's move in, move into new digs, got all warm again, let's go. Awful noise, and then the old pillow has got the elastic round the back of it so it doesn't slide all over the place. Amazing, really. The Trekology pillow, it's the Thermarest Neo Air X Therb Extra Large sleeping pad. It's the Rav Anyway Ascent 900, I'm going to say. The beauty of this thing as well is my little pump. Uh, you already know, but it, it's a light, it's a lantern, lantern deck. So that'll go up there, ready for the evening, which is exciting. It's exciting when you say it like that. Oh! I'm done. Once she's up and running, as she's now, there aren't many better looking tents. I think it looks the business, doesn't it? There you go, look. Is they not entertained, lad? Should we tie laces and go for a little mooch? Have a little beer time. Beer time together. We're going to have a beer together, eh? Only one mind. Only one. Come on. Make sure you've got everything you need, yeah? Got your yoga mat and your beer. <laughs> the essentials. Come on. Come on, sleep wigwam. Ah. Ow. Come in here. Get even closer if you want. I don't mind. Get in here nice and close. Not too close though. Don't wanna, you'll drive me away. Cause at commitment. Cause at commitment issues. There you go, that better. God almighty. It's gonna get to the stage where I'll just boot all this off. I can see it. I'll just sack it off, mate, and just, you know what I mean, just be. Speaking of just being, sorry if I keep looking there, but that's what it is, isn't it? Right, let's get this beer out of the way. It's not very cold, but it is what it is. Come on, focusing issues. Will you ever learn? I'll tell you what, when I do pack it all in, this will be still happening, won't it? There I am. I mean, there it is. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you me on front. Shh. Be quiet. Don't tell your missus. We're going to booze her. This is, um, it's a patrons only, so. Shout out all my Northern Monk patrons. Patron society. This is not for everyone, but it is for you. Cheers, blood. Oh, and it is blood orange IPA. <laughs> Have I subconsciously said that because it's a blood orange IP or mad? Is that just mad? Are you rolling over for? Anyway, should we sling a little bit into us? Yeah, fuck it. I can't. I'm just a fidget machine, aren't I? It's just not. The light ain't right. Lord, fidget. I can't help it, mate. I'm just a fidgeter. Fidget spinner. I need to just chill out. I need to. Ch I need to. Re <laughs> nice day though. Very nice. Well, that's gone all over me. That, and it's didn't. That's drive by without me even. Without consent. Just get into it. Oh, as nice as that, mate. I'm thirsty as well. Hallelujah, sing it, sing Alleluia.
but don't shout hallelujah because it's only a four point keep it chilled um line it's a five so it's 5.7 so it will touch the sides a little bit just one can that's all i'm having now uh, i hope everyone's well btw i like to just have my little time so oh absent friends and cheers to you lot If you're drinking, drink with me. If you want it, young'uns, pop a fruit shoot. Slip a little bit of tequila in it when your mum and dad are watching. You know what I mean? Um, yes, yeah, speaking of going to Buddhist retreats, I went to a, <laughs> I went to a Buddhist meeting. Hear me out, hear me out. No, come back. Don't get, don't leave, don't leave. Come back, come back. I'm not... I'm going to try to start rubbing sage on you and that and trying to hurl crystals into your every other fist. But I did go because... I don't know. In my constant search for betterment, that word is now. I went round to see my friends I've not seen for a while. <clears throat> and my friend Louise said that she'd started going to this Buddhist thing where they do, they go for like two hours or whatever, and they do like guided meditation and just chat about stuff. It was unbelievable, right, because, so I was out of my comfort zone, and I'm a fan of that anyway, I like getting out of my comfort zone. Um, and you start with, they were like, oh, we're going to start light, because I knew I was a newbie, a white belt Buddhist. A, not even a white belt, paracord, bailer band, white belt Buddhist anyway. So they started off with a half an hour guided meditation, which doesn't sound like a lot, but let me tell you this. In this day and age when we constantly have distraction from our thoughts, distraction from our minds, and we'll fill it with like, if we'll fill it with like alcohol, drugs, sex, TV, scrolling on social media, binge eating, whatever it is, just is, we'll just go from one thing to another so that we don't have to sit in our own thoughts for too long because it's an un it, can, it can be an uncomfortable place for people. Uh, it can be a boring and uncomfortable place. And I know that I like being on my own, but to actually just sit and be... For that length of time, I can't remember the last time I did it. And the lady there who was r running it, I judged the book through, from the cover at first because she's quite elderly and all this sort of stuff anyway. And then it turned out later that she was like, when she was younger, she used to run ultra marathons of like over 100 miles and stuff. And it was amazing. And I wouldn't, you would not have thought that to look at her and to, to talk to her at first. So that taught me a lesson. On the night, I just slept like a baby. I hadn't slept that well in a long time. I don't know whether it was because of that meditating or what, but I slept really well. Uh, and I'm going to keep doing it, I think. That's why I, really, I don't want to get too trashed. I mean, I'll have one beer here and there when I'm up in the mountain and, and I see you a lot, but just for a, you know, for a few weeks, I'm just going to keep it buddy's mate. I'll turn up. Next video, I'll be, I'll be in orange robes. <laughs> Proper hey. This will be me. This will be me tuning in for the next video like that. Om nom shiba. Hey ma shiba. Or whatever. Is that am I allowed to say it do that? Probably not. Probably not cool, is it? But anyway, I'm a Buddhist now, so. Am I allowed? I mean, I'm oversharing. Uh, I'm definitely oversharing with that, but... I mean, who really cares? It's oversharing, and I know a lot of you are just here to watch me camping and just see what tents I'm using and stuff like that, but... I just thought I'd share it with you because... I don't know. I found peace. I found a bit of peace from it. And it's what I'm be. It's what... I've been constantly searching for is 
just peace in my mind, just to just to just to calm my mind down and just to heal my mind. And I think it it I liked it. I'll report back after some more meditation and whatever, but I don't know, mate. It, take what you want from it. Because someone might watch this and be like, do you know what? That sounds all right, that. I might get into it. Yeah, there might be people watching this who've got, like, frantic noggins or a bit anxious or just not quite feeling right in Swede. <laughs> and, you know, if they can hear me say, get to this end some meditation, lad or lass, and you do, and it helps, then, for me, job done. Right, I'm off back to Wigwam. I'll see you later. Take it easy, mate. Pissed off half a can. Whee! <laughs> this way, anyway. See you later. Only a slight breeze. Beautiful conditions. I'm not going to stay out for too long. As soon as that globule of orange descends past there, plop. That's me into Wigwam. If it hits the horizon and then erupts into some sort of majesty, I shall bring you back. But if not, see you in tent, mate. The Wind Dancer 1500, or whatever it's called, the Wind Mutant. Soto Windmaster, I believe. Comes off, Ooh. should you desire to pack it down any flatter than it already is, you can, you can take that bit off and help yourself. Right then, sturdy the Eagle Edwards. It's also got a built-in ignition. <laughs> built-in ignition, that's what we're talking about. Watch this. Get gas on, and then... See? <laughs> Whee! Splendid. I don't have much water left, to be honest. We're gonna have to find a water source tomorrow. On she goeth. You be, stu be sturdy. Be st old. And it gets a bit warm on these titaniums. So I like to use my little cloth as a. to help me hold the handle. Nearly done already. Very fast. Very. very efficient. Whoa there, mate. Turn her down. There we go. Relax. See, lad. Deep breaths, chill out. Yeah, that's the birds. What is it? A cur curlew or a lesser spotted warbler. In we go. Oh, he's cooking now. Mate. We're cooking now. We're cooking, aren't we? Cooking on gas. Literally cooking on gas. Rumour has it that the Phil Neville. Is oh, it's there. It's only there. That's probably enough. And there's a quarter of a cup of boiling hot water, so I'll just leave that to go cold and should put it back in my in my bottle. Because water is now currency out here.
get all them crunchy bits at bottom because no, I've said it before but you, when you're eating one of these and you get to, to the bottom the last thing you want is a big old arid <laughs> patch of dust that tastes super strong and would have been best served spread throughout the meal in fact we'll have a little bit more water in there actually eight minutes seal it back up Ian seal real termat we're going to talk a little bit more about these real termats when I set off on my uh, on my journeys so I'll leave that for eight minutes use it as a little hand warmer and then we'll get tucked in right let's get lantern up there that'll get that'll do won't it there there <sighs> there grills <laughs> do you know what just in case you've never seen a long spoon before look into my spoon not around the spoon into the spoon become the spoon bend <laughs> whatever don't bend the spoon something to do with that matrix anyway let's have a little go on this clobber the clobber I've got a I've got a little cheat code for these which I'm gonna give you soon when I set off on me uh, on my long distance gear it's making my mouth water I've not had much to eat today right let's just get a bit out man look at that big lumps in there there's colour from the... What's the point? You can't see. That's, it's... um. What is it? Good question. It is chicken curry. They have a really good vegan range as well. They've got a lot of the vegan ones at home. Um, and they do like lighter versions. And I don't mean light in weight, but light in bite. For little snacks for morning or halfway through the day. Ooh. Oh yeah. Whoa, yes. <coughs> got a bit of a kick to it. Can you can you see it's got stuck colour on it, red stuff. They're vacuum sealed, so they must suck all the the air out. Maybe that's why they don't need that little sachet. You know, like in other ones where you have that little sachet that you will never just be forget about and then find it when you're right at the bottom and think, oh god, that can't be good. 627 calories. It's delicious. And it'll be made even more delicious if that torch wasn't just battering my eyeballs. This lad's alright, but this lad's just frazzling the retinas. Right, retina green, I'm off. I'm gonna go and enjoy this and then uh, whatever. Got a podcast to listen to. I'll probably listen to a little podcast and lift off. I'm just filming this on the phone because uh, can't be asked to get the camera out and that's so that's all. I've got both doors open. I've got the zip, the mesh bits uh, closed, but I've got both doors wide open because it's so still. I thought I'd try and let a bit of whatever breeze there is come through so i'm not riddled with condensation in the morning and you can actually see the stars from my bed through this mesh so that's a pleasant treat to fall to sleep to oh what what's that oh it's my hand in it sorry just using blower as i said <laughs> right let's see what magical or tragical happens i'll see it morning au revoir
morning. Slept well. It is a beautiful day. I've had both doors open. Check it, check it. Ah. You can see stuff from the tent anyway. Look at that glorious sight to behold. Let's get it all, let's get it tuned in. Hallelujah. That's just mesh you're looking through, but I can still see the stars from the from my boudoir because the doors are so they're so tall. Not a drop of condensation, which is an absolute bonus. So we've got on this dreaded noise. And I'm gonna go find some water to both drink and swim in. Or dunk in. <laughs> glorious, glorious morning. Int Yorkshire. It's early doors, mate, it's early doors. But sun's pelting down, it's too glorious to stay in bed, so we're up. And we're off. I'm looking forward to finding somewhere just to dunk the junk. Seeing as though we're in Dales, I'll, uh, we'll transition with flat cap. There we go. People do say, and I have heard them on forums and stuff say it, that you know that it is quite barren, like I said yesterday. And it would be nice, you know, in the future to try and rewild it. I don't know what they're doing at the moment, but like, you know, let's get some forests and some woodland back up here. Encourage the wildlife. But for me, beautiful. And there are some bits that are just lush, luscious. Great wild swimming, and there are woodlands. There's a bit of everything in the Yorkshire Dales. Farming. Farming has unfortunately dictated the landscape, but, and yeah, it is a bit barren. But it's my barren, and I shall not have a bad word said about her. Don't you listen, you're beautiful. You're beautiful anyway. Let's go see if she's got some water to dive into. And when I say dive into, I mean tentatively tiptoe, plunge, and then get back out. Come on. Which shades on ant flack. Who do you think you are? Don't worry about it, mate. Alfred, Alfred Wayne wrong. Well, there we go. While swimming. This one's alive. Alive with frog spawn. I can hear it. I can see it running water. Running water. What's this? Yes, man. Woo! Look at that little hole. Uh, we've got water. Running water. My water filter of choice is this. Knock, see knock, whatever you want to say. However you want to say it. And the Sawyer Micro Squeeze. A wonderful combination. I like it when it's running water, it's easier to fill up. You can even with this one, you can zip, unzip the back and open the full, the full bag. Makes it a lot easier if the water isn't as as easy to fill through the nozzle bit, which it was there. And then it's just, I am gonna fill my bottle up. I'm gonna drink straight from it. Hello? It gives 50p if I, uh, for going here. Is this bright enough? Not brilliantly. Not brilliantly at all, but let's go and have a look, shall we? Put that. 
purely for the laugh, all right? I don't even have a knife. Oh, I do. I do have a knife. Just in case there's any baddies. <coughs> Just in case there's any, you know, like, balrogs or anything in there. Come at me, bro. Yeah, I know. I know. Right, okay, I guess the worst thing, the worst thing that could be in here is bats and rats in it. Because let me tell you, if a bat, if a bat uh, flies down here, or a rat scuttles out, that's me, heart attack I think maybe. Oh. Oh, mate, listen to this. Spooky, oh, I soaked as well. Look all that. Should keep going. Uh, I don't have the right footwear for it. <sighs> keep going. Oh my god, it goes all the way down. Look around the corner. Watch torch off. Watch Bosh. Peach black cat. Ah, no. Look at that, man. Could I keep in here? Probably not. It's too wet. It's too wet. Um, I'll come back. I'll come back with some wellies on and have a little, and have a little explore, maybe. But let's get out of here. It's, there's a freezing cold wind and it's quite eerie. <sighs> come on. I'm scared, mate. Because it's too wet. It's too wet. For Lone Peak Ultra Fives. Don't want to get me tootsies soggy. That's exciting, isn't it? Mines of Morion or Mordor or whatever. Oh, yeah, so anyway, what's left is for me just to go and uh, dunk my junk in some water. There's a whole flock of sheep staring at me like they're going to do something. But I don't. Look, guys, I'm not blaming you guys for the uh, agricultural scars around the dales. It's not your fault. You were just put here. Anyway, let's go find some water to dunk us the junkers in. Oh, eyeballing me. You'll do nothing! You'll do nothing! Medic! You can see here how it's all been. That mine that I was in, I assume it's your mine and not a railway track for little people. You can see all spoil that's come out of it. The, I don't know what they were mining, gravy probably. The gravy mines of Yorkshire. I think there's a few gravy mines around here like, but I've never actually witnessed one. There's it, all the stuff that comes out. What do you call it? Slag or sleet or... Uh, does it... Um, I don't know actually, there's a name for it. There's a name for all the gear that comes out of it, but that's that. Right, this is good, isn't it? Interesting. We're going to make our way through this valley and into the bottom valley. Let's go. You'd probably sit in that little puddle if you wanted to. Sad times that though, isn't it? It's boggy. Soggy and boggy. Soggy and boggy. Stick or twist, do you stick with it? Or do you keep going? It's ever so small, it's not deep enough for that to lay down in it. And I know, thanks to the boys at Northern Monk, that there are better waterfalls down here. You have to keep your wits about you when you're uh, well, I'll keep your wits about you at all times, but when you're on your tod, even more so. It's not a contender though, because 
there's no plunge pool to speak of and it sort of slopes back so it'd be hard to get your head under there undignified 2 out of 10 there's a good one down there that looks doable don't get too close to edge though I mean it looks alright you'd have to sit in it not get that can't really swim or get head under but well, you can get head under the waterfall Whoa. <laughs> actually talking to big rig Woo! slip off there and it's good night mate good night unless something tragic or tragic happens that's me done I made it betwixt two waterfalls this one looks a oh it's cold <laughs> feel cold air coming off it not very deep is it it's not very deep Bonnie though, she's Bonnie. I think we'll try the other one. If I can get down to it. Normally in the dales it's quite peaty, quite brown. But it's running off this, I don't know, it looks like limestone, but I don't know. Beautifully clear. Stick or twist. Let's go and have a look at it up close. Looks good, doesn't it? How deep is it? Not very. Not very deep at all. I'll be lying down in it. I fancy it though. Right, let's have a look. Out. Let's see if there's one more, and then if not, that's it. We're going in there. This one. I mean, I've got my how many left to choose from. What sort? How spoiled am I? I'm like, no, not that waterfall. This, this one. No, not that one. This one. I'm gonna. This is my final answer. It looks like there's a bit. The plunge pool looks a little bit deeper than other ones, so. That's it. Final answer, Chris. I've had a wonderful day out. I'm going to take the money. Final answer. Thank you. Right. Are you coming in? Ah, oh, it's so slippy. I'll be careful. I'll be careful for you. Going in it flat path. Really? Oh. Uh, there we are, invigorating. I will go out tonight, but I have a cough of this. Wait, that shot. Way, dad shots, dad shots, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when dad shots come for you? <laughs> come on! Brand new, by the way! <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what feels good. Yeah, getting in there felt amazing, loved it. But what feels really good now? After having a pair of underpants on, merino wool leggings and shorts, just to have shorts, commando, with knacker just flapping around in, you know, in freedom, relative freedom, feels good. And in fact, oh mate, that coldness across the chest, it feels amazing. I would have, um, I would have what? It's bloody beautiful! <laughs> Uh, I can't handle it sometimes. Should we end it here instead of me just keep walking? In fact, let's set you up. The sun is on the other side of the valley. It's a blue sky, a beautiful day. Can you see? If I'm not in way, ah, you can't really. A beautiful day to be alive. Oh, listen, it's not even half eight in the morning. And that's what you get for getting up early. The rewards. I've still got a full day ahead of me. 
That deserves a little, <whistles> little blow on whistle, doesn't it? Ah, right. Thanks for watching, as always, and thanks, as always, for the messages of support and stuff. And uh, even if you just reach out to ask me if I prefer the Lanshan over the Hilliburg or whatever, I appreciate you. I obviously can't reply to everyone, but I do appreciate you. And the key for this one, and my key takeaway on this one for me is mindfulness. Because I went to my Buddhist thing and that, I think I'm like a git. I'm enlightened, Anna. I'm enlightened, but it's just what it felt like. It just felt like this whole camp has just felt like mindfulness. So if you ever, if any of you lot get the chance to just sit in your own thoughts for a bit, download Headspace or just go for a walk in the woods, whatever keeps you in your own head and find comfort there if you can. <laughs> And spread the spread love, spread positivity. Uh, Aggie and out, but love as well. Take care of yourselves. Namaste stay out of trouble. Au revoir for now. It's that short, mate. Hey, I'll give you a curtsy. Hold on. Au revoir for now. That's it. Curtsy.